Oh, that looks very terrible. <laughs> the lighting is just gone. Oh, <laughs> yes, well, that's... Okay. Hello, podcastlers, and welcome to another episode of the D-Time Podcast. I'm Akero, and on today's episode, I will be joined by YouTuber Adaphosaurus. Hello, I am still here. <laughs> and we are, will be coming to you live from the National History Museum in London, where we have just seen the temporary Patagotitan exhibition. This video is a video in two parts. So the first part of this video is up on Adaphosaurus' YouTube channel, which I'll be linking below. In that it's video, a very curious definition of live you're using. I just have to mention that we will. Well, we um, we will we be were live, but then all film is technically live. You're right. What's well, live action? You know, it's we've actually action. just been voice actors this whole time. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you guys don't have cameras. You do everything <laughs> that's like voiceover, so it's people it, yeah. can like listen to it while they're cooking or something. Yes, but we still do it as YouTube videos because we're annoying that way. <laughs> as oh, opposed to yeah. actually having a podcast. And we'll still throw in the occasional image. But anyways, yeah. that's a sidetrack. The first video, which is on Adaphosaurus' channel, is about the exhibition itself, our thoughts, our reviews on it, and a sort of breaking it down. And in this half, we are discussing the history of study of Patagotitan and its various paleomedia appearances. Um, okay, so Patagotitan in popular media. Uh, yes, well, I mean, I was, I was going to think maybe, I think, this is sort of harking back to our, our National History Central days, which is the last time we actually did, a, I believe, a talk on a taxon that wasn't either new, that wasn't new, hmm. um, because we were actually just talking about interesting taxa back then. And so one of the things we do is we talk about sort of the discovery about it in general, uh, and then just a bit about what the animal is now, what the animal is, I mean, Patagotitan, Pet you all know, I believe what it is, but it's one of the largest titanosaurs, it's... The uh, exhibit gave an estimate of 57 tons, 57 which is tons. pretty good. That's yeah, pretty we were impressed that it didn't yes. ridiculously overstretch yeah. how big it thinks Pantica Titan is, because they have a tendency to be like, oh, it's 90 tons or something. It's like, no, it isn't. There's no evidence to suggest that it's that big, yes. if you do any of the volumetric measurements. Yeah. And stuff. Um, it's known from six individuals, mm -hmm. um, none of them fully mature. Uh, one of them is particularly good, and that was Holotype, obviously. And then you've got a bunch of different specimens. The exhibit does a good point of, of animals showing how this is done. So this is the skeleton of a Titan. Most complete skeleton. Then we add in this one here. So this is from other Patica Titan individuals. Then this is everything else that we haven't found. So this is what we actually know about Patica Titan. And this is all made up. Oh, and it's, it's not lining up properly. Lies. It's all lies. Big evolution is lying to you. Don't you know that? Discovered in 2010, excavated over the following few years, and announced in, I believe, early 2014 mm -hmm. uh, as the, the Titanosaur. The Titanosaur. The Titanosaur. The the Titanosaur. Titanosaur. That's the key. It's the Titanosaur with no us at the end of it, which not everyone got the hang of. Um, and then. Uh, so, so it's the titanosaur, and everyone's like, oh, it's a big titanosaur. And some people already, like, arc so I've evolved, is like, oh, it's a titanosaur. Um, and then, an, a big titanosaur gets a name. And that name is Dreadnoughtus Shrani. And everyone's like, oh, is that the titanosaur? No, it's a completely different titanosaur. Dreadnoughtus and Paddock Titan, very different. Dreadnoughtus, for a start, is about 85 feet long. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny little titanosaur, by titanosaur standards. It's significant because it's about 50% complete, or 45% complete, but it, enough of it's complete that you can flip the fossils and basically reconstruct the entire lower half of the body from the neck. It's basically just the neck and head that are missing. So it's a really nice specimen. Nice specimen, really, really good. good. About it recently yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Dreadnoughts is a really good one to study. It is not the biggest dinosaur by any stretch. Panica Titan has claims to being the biggest yes. dinosaur. It isn't. But it, it was claims to be. It was described as such. It was a bit yeah. described in 2017 to much relief. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's finally out. It was described as the largest. Uh, soon it came under a bit of fire. So the way they described it as the largest was through like pulling on measuring of the vertebrae and volumetric uh, recreations of the body because we do have a fair bit that we can estimate sort of its, its volume bo body mass um, and comparing that to volumetric estimates of Argentinosaurus. But among other criticisms, one of the main criticisms was. Well, we don't really have that much of Argentinosaurus that we can do a sort of estimate of its full body mass. And when you compare individual bones, like you know, long bones, and also most importantly the length of the vertebral column, which we have for Argentinosaurus pretty nicely 
preserved, it's one of the few things we have evidence of. It's a lot longer than Patagotitan, about 4.5, 4.4 meters versus Patagotitan's 3.4, 3.7 meters long torso. So it would be really hard to get Argentine source to scale back down to being smaller than Patagotitan. So although Patagotitan's volume estimates show it's a very large animal, we can't do a volume estimate for Argentine Saurus, really, and comparing bones suggests Argentine Saurus is still larger, especially this, the sort of large specimens we have are referred to Argentine Saurus. They're not the holotype, but they're about 10% larger than the holotype, and these would definitely have been very big animals. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, Patagotitan, not the biggest dinosaur, but one but, of the biggest. But, but, but one that what, what tries to uh, have, have a lot of fanfare yes. uh, around it. Um, it's and, a yeah, it's a cool. I think I think what's also significant is the fact that there's a reconstruction of it. Yes. That that so I mean okay, there's reconstructions of Argentinosaurus as well. Um, but I guess kind of the history of this exhibit is the fact that oh now what did we in 2018 was it when they opened the Titanosaurus in, so, yes. in American Museum? So the first one was in the American Museum of Natural History, and the second one was the Field Museum in Chicago, I think. What's it's the, the one Field Museum? What's that? No, 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 it was, it was the American okay. Museum that was first. Yes, Field, Field Museum. Museum came second, so Field Museum were like, oh, Sue, off you go. Back into the dinosaur exhibit. <laughs> Patrick Titan moves into the central hall. Yeah. Um, which, you know, understandable now, but now I've seen it, I understand why. Yeah. Um, uh, and then this is the third, I think, of yeah. the full reconstruction. Oh, there's probably one in Argentina as well, right? Surely they have one. I don't think so. I don't know. I thought Maximo in the AM and H was the first. Okay, oh, fair enough. The, that um, cast was the first. So yeah, this is this is one of those casts. I think it's the best of the three casts. Just looking at the pictures of them, yes. mainly because this guy has a bit of a smile on his face. <laughs> he's got yeah. his head joint, he's got a slightly jaunty angle. He's, he's sort of open he's mouth. Looking at the guy, something. the guy, the guy at the uh, American Museum. It's just he's like his teeth are gritted, and he's just like Ooh. he's just sticking his neck out. And he looks so yeah. so goofy. It's like yeah, it doesn't work. There is a picture at the uh, museum that that looks. Very much like that reconstruction. Camerasaurus. Yeah. Camerasaurus. Yeah. That edible. I don't think it was weed. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's actually it's actually pretty. Uh, it's, it, yeah, I think obviously neck aside, obviously we would yeah. rather the neck be a bit further up. But I think as those reconstructions go, it is still the best of the three. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, good marks on the NHM yeah. for for doing that. What's interesting though is that despite this being, I think, a lot more popular in terms of like display and mounting and you know actual portrayal in museums, I think it's, it's quite popular thanks to that initial very good mount and the, the efforts to make an actual mount as part of the you know the research and the, the promotion of it. There's that's not really been reflected in paleo media. No, no. So the first documentary uh, that came out about uh, Patrick Titan. Was that, was that, was, had they and, named it? End of 2016, no they hadn't. No, they had yeah, named it, so it was, have it, named. it was Attenborough's giant dino, so pre-prehistoric planet, David Attenborough, um, at, at, at one of his many points in time where he's like, I'm not going to do any more nature documentaries, and then does more nature documentaries, <laughs> um, he yes, said... Yes, this was right after Planet Earth too, wasn't it? I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, this is his last like right, I'm going to do one about dinosaurs, because David Attenborough fundamentally likes dinosaurs, yeah. that's why he did put this on a planet in the first place. So, um, so he's like, okay, we'll, we'll do this one. He, yeah, I think he did go to Argentina to look at some of these, yes, these yes, things. Yes, yes, he's on location a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a decent documentary, kind of. I think, obviously, there's some things that have been outdated. The main egregious point, I think, was pointed out by Matt Weddle or um, Mark Ta uh, Mike Taylor or one of the other, S someone on SVPAP, uh, was, the problem is, uh, they they make a big point of if we measure the width of the leg, we can work out how big it is. And it's like that is nonsense. You cannot work out the size of an animal from one bone, and especially when it's a quadruped. Okay. Like, but it kind of makes sense because you're limiting the amount of bones that you use. Yeah. When you're a quadruped, like your weight distribution is completely yeah. different. And then they make this big fuss about, oh, it's it's ten tons bigger than Argentinosaurus. Yes. Is that they still say seventy tons, which means presumably their estimate for Argentinosaurus was sixty tons. But Argentinosaurus is often getting regularly estimated as seventy tons, yes. so I don't quite know what was going on there. Uh, interestingly, most of the reconstruction in it of Ar so Argentinosaurus is in it as. Uh, chased by Dinosaurs, Nigel Marvin, Argentinosaurus. Is it, right? it, there's stock footage of oh, Chased okay. by Dinosaurs in it. Um, and no Nigel Marvin to be seen, but yes. the, the Argentinosaurus is in it. 
which is obviously a bit outdated because that yeah. was basically a saltosaur cross with a camarasaur as far as I could figure yes. out whatever they did with that reconstruction. But then they, and then at the end, they build up to actually seeing Patrick and Titan itself. Uh, and that is a reasonable reconstruction. Yeah, the neck posture, I think, is quite off. Yeah, obviously the neck posture is off because dates, it's built honest. around this skeleton. That, yeah. so, this, so they they built up this skeleton <laughs> in the warehouse. They built up the skeleton. Um, and then it comes to life, and David Attenborough is on this like uh, so, uh, oh, cherry pick. He's on a cherry pick, right? Yeah, and then, and then it sort of, at least he was at one point. Yeah, anyway, he, then it comes to life. I'll get to later as well. Okay. Yeah. It comes to life, and it's there, and it's like really impressive looking. Uh, that is like the last minute of the episode. Yeah, 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 I think it's only like this two is, shots. This, this, is, this is not a uh, CGI heavy documentary, I just put it that way. It's uh, a bit disappointing because the formation's got a lot of really cool stuff you can explore yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, they do mention Tyranitite in the do. documentary. And I, I, I remember watching that, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, it's not that. No. Um, so, so, yeah, that's that's sort of that. Because Tyranitite and teeth are notable for being found among the remains, and there's even a possible Tyranitite bite mark on the yeah. dog's probably yeah. scavenging. I mean, no. do we even know if it's Tyranitite? I mean, Tyranitite I mean, is from the formation. formation and, 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 but, but then again, we've had just, just an Araxes and Maraxes, so we can't be too. Um, yeah. So that's basically what happens in that documentary. Yes. They find Patrick the Titan and they reconstruct it and it turns into a CGI model and then it ends. Um, then other depictions of Patrick the Titan, well, I would argue Ark Survival Evolved. Ark Survival Evolved has a titanosaur that is the size of the Empire State Building or something. Uh, it's just a ridiculous big dinosaur, it's the biggest dinosaur in the game. Uh, but it is ostensibly based on Patrick the Titan. Yeah. Uh, because it, they call it Titanosaurus, but it is Panic Titan, yeah. in effect. Uh, and that has appeared on everyone's favourite documentary, Dinosaur with Stephen Fry. So, te so technically, Panic Titan has appeared in Dinosaur with Stephen Fry, unintentionally, because the people who made that were a bunch of hacks. The David Attenborough Panic Titan has appeared in one short thing. Yes, the that is also true. video, which is where he's on... A little cherry. Oh, he's a cherry. I'm looking at that. I think. Oh, okay. I, no, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's on a little like. Yeah. 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 While I'm looking this up, do you want yes. to talk about any other depictions of Paddock the Titan? Yes! The one that we haven't seen! <laughs> yes! Well, there, there's, it's, it's, you know, it's the inaccessibility of, of, of Pelimedia, isn't it? Yeah. Um, there's a big thing when well, IMAX documentaries won't really get distributed. I only managed to watch Sue's IMAX documentary about seven years after it initially released, yeah, when it hit funny. Vimeo for pay, uh, paid release. Um, but the Field Museum made an initially Field Museum only a documentary about the Titanosaur, footage of which has been repurposed for the Dinosaurs of Antarctica, but I believe that's not as Pathetic Titan, where they talk about Titanosaurs in Antarctica. Uh, okay. The IMAX Dinosaurs of Antarctica oh, came out okay. and features the Titanosaur, uh, and that show has itself been repurposed in French and on Curiosity Stream. So, you know, you just, the thread just goes deeper, so it's where do you call it? But it's reconstructed there as well. I don't think it's as good a model as the Attenborough one. It's very squishy, but this is more in terms of, like, I think CGI. It's very floaty. It's a bit wobbly. Okay, right, found it. I would love to watch it, obviously, but that one's a bit too inaccessible for either of us living across the pond. Okay, there's a gif of the uh, Pantica Titan. Yes, no, okay. I meant the Attenborough one. Yeah, yes. This is the Argentine source from that documentary. From Top 10, from top Biggest 10. Beats Ever. Do not Google Top 10 Biggest Beats Ever on YouTube, because it will autocorrect it. Attenborough... Uh, uh, no, it's just going to be the YouTube one, isn't it? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, the 360 one? Or, or did you mean... No, I, I found the 360 Oh, That okay. is what I just showed you. No, that's Biggest Beats. Is it? Yeah, yeah that, that's, big, that's the 360. That's the 360. That's, that's the actual one. Yeah. That's no, the Steve Batchel. Sorry, no, I mean the 361 where it's Attenborough in the desert. Oh, like, okay, right, sorry, give me a sec. A 360 video. Oh! That, oh, okay, I thought you were, no, because no. it was the deadly 60, 360. <laughs> I thought it was called 360. <laughs> right, so we've been getting a bit confused. So there's this documentary called uh, Steve Batchel's 
uh, deadly dinosaurs. Yeah. That contains a Pantic Titan that is played by the Argentinosaurus from Top 10 Biggest Yes. Um, yes, you're right, there is also a David Attenborough 360 Arch, uh, the Pantic Titan Cherry yeah. Picker one, which I believe is probably the one from that yes. documentary. I haven't checked, yes. uh, but okay. we're going to run out that yes. pretty soon anyway. So. Oh. Ah, it's fine. This video will come out in three to seven months. It's fine. Okay. When this is no longer relevant. <laughs> it's fine. Right. Okay. That, that's that's, that's it. Because exactly. we're not going to have time to talk about the museum itself. No, but I'll, I'll, I'll sort of drop in a series of videos here okay. of our sort of insane ramblings and pointing things out. Yeah. And the various gift shops and there are a lot of gift shops. Four gift yes. shops. Possibly more. But they've not found them all. There's there's rumours going. Find them all. Yeah. Um, but yes. there we go. So what's your, what's your outro? Do you do an outro for this show? Do you, don't no, you? we can't just give up. We we'll oh, wait okay. for Rick to say something funny. Uh, so do I need to do a Rick impression? Yes. Uh, so well, um, so uh, at the end of this episode, I think we find that uh, uh, something about prehistoric plant and um, the uh, uh, that, uh, <laughs> Uh, the Pasca Titan is a very big dinosaur, you see, and um, I'm digging myself a hole here, so uh, I think that's probably a good place to end it as, as any. That's perfect. Thank you, Edith, and that beautiful impersonation of Rick. Yep, he'll um, never talk to me again now. Yes. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for having me join you in person. Excellent. Yes, and indeed. And uh, we will see you all again when Prehistoric Planet comes out. Yes, because that's true. Hopefully, hopefully, there will be a film screening in London again, like there was last year. Yes. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. See you guys in the Bye. next one. Bye bye. We can do we can do the, the you know the, the, the wanky wanky film thing. I'll let you turn off. Again.